Okay, this is a movie um, showing you how to start a new iMovie. We're going to click on iMovie. iMovie is a pretty amazing program because there's so many things that you can do. So hopefully I can touch on some of the things that you can do. We're in the projects and we want to add a new project. So we'll hit the plus sign. And this time we want to create a movie instead of a trailer. Again, as in the movie, you've got lots of choices for templates and you can play the template to see how it would look with your movie. There's, you can notice that there's music that goes with every movie. You can put your own in there. You don't have to use theirs. So, But if you want to just have one, well, here's one with a travel theme or you have a news theme. But if you just want to make a regular movie, use the simple. And right up here in the top, we're going to hit Create Movie. Now all the video that I have stored on my iPad is right here and I'll show you how to import some movies later. Um, so again this white line here is my playhead and so that's where the movie that's where I'm working. So here's my video and I want to click on my video here and you can see it's 17 seconds long. These yellow tabs I can make it shorter or longer. The green line that you see right here that that is part that I marked as a favorite at one point. This little button right here just plays that so you can see what it looks like before you put it into your movie. And then once you put it into, well, how, whenever you want to put it into your movie, if you click this little arrow, it puts it right into your movie. Now you can go ahead and um, pinch and, and move your timeline so you can really get very detailed this is still the same length as it was when it was smaller and I'm just pinching it now. It's still 9.9 .9 seconds but I can edit it better this way. So when I click on the video here you can see that oh and by the way the other thing you want to do when you click on here is you want to make sure that you're on the video button right down here. So here's my video. I can do some different things with it. I can add a title and so let's go ahead and put um, an opening, I guess. It doesn't really matter. You can put whatever you'd like. So we'll go ahead and type in book fair. And we'll put uh, down here. Okay, so we'll say done. And then um, if I click on the video again, I can speed up my video if I want to or slow my video down, put it in slow-mo, that would be pretty painful. But you could do that in different parts of your movie, which would be kind of interesting. So let me go ahead and do the speed again, and we'll move it back up to the regular speed. The other things that I can do with my movie is I can split it. So let's just say I want to take part of this movie out. So I put my playhead where I want to, and I click on the movie, and I hit split and it splits it and then maybe I want to take this part out so I'm going to click on my movie again and I'm going to hit split again and then I can if I want to delete this section I just hit the trash can and off it goes so now I've got this part of this movie here if I click on the video I can also um, freeze different parts of it let me let me click on another one and add another one in here. Okay, so I can. Um, well, it's not going to let me freeze this part. I don't know why, but let's let's put part of this movie in here. I know my kids and my husband will really appreciate that I use this. So I click on here. I don't know why it's still not letting me freeze. Oh, there we go. I can freeze part of it, so it will actually kind of get to a place where it'll stop. And it freezes it. Okay. You can also add different pieces of video into your movie. So let's say I wanted to add, I'm going to put my playhead again right here, and let's say I wanted to add this picture of Linda in here, and I wanted to make that smaller and I go to this little three buttons, this little more, and I have this little part here. This is a cutaway, so I'm cutting away from 
one to the other. Okay. I'm going to hit the undo button because I don't want to do that. I'll show you something different. I'm going to, this time I'm going to take this little slice and go again to the more right here. And this time I'm going to put in one of these little um, picture in pictures. So this is what this one will look like. You can see both of them at the same time, which is kind of a neat little effect. I'm going to undo that. Okay, undo. The last option that you have for that is, let's go ahead and get that video again. Hit that more button and you have this split screen effect. So that's what a, this is what a split screen looks like, which is kind of a nice effect as well. All right, the orange line here shows you the pieces of the movies that you have got into your movie already. You can also add just music from the videos. So for example, I want to add right here, I want to go ahead, um, make it smaller, go to the more button again, and this time, this right here, I'm going to just add the audio only. So if I click that, I only get the, the audio, not the video. So so that's, that's kind of a neat um, thing if you want to just add the audio only. You can also add audio first if you're going to, like I said, if you're going to make a music, um, a music video. You can also add photos. So let's go to the very end over here and I'm going to add some photos. So I'll go to my photo stream and add one of the drum set here. So I have a photo in here. I can make, click on the photo and I can make it shorter or longer. And it will, it will do that. Now the other thing is right here it has something called Ken Burns effect which makes the movie kind of slide around in, or the the picture slide around in there. So if I want to, I can start it like right on the big Ludwig right here. And then at the end, I want it to show the whole drum set. Okay, so that's what it would look like when I play that. Okay, so you can add photos that way. You can lengthen them or shorten them. You can trim them, Ken Burns, you can zoom. Um, so all of those lovely things that you can do on there. I'm going to show you how to import some other videos into a movie in the next video.